welcome back to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Thank you for always stopping by. I really do appreciate. If you are new here, you are welcome to the channel. Please subscribe to make yourself a full member of the family. Like my videos, that is the only way to encourage me. Share my videos. And if you have been with me all this way, thank you. I really do appreciate and I will never take your love for granted. So today, I want to teach us how to make your own attraction perfume. Okay? This attraction perfume can be used for business, can be used for love, okay? Can be used to attract good things to your life. Whatever you want to attract, by the grace of God, this perfume is going to help you once you charge it with your intentions. And by the grace of God, you are going to get whatever you're looking for. Okay? So, but before I get right into the video, I want to introduce my business success water. Okay? This is for business, for prosperity, for good luck, for success. Okay? So, I name it good luck or success water. Okay? But you can use it for your business, you can use it for your personal use, if you're always having bad luck, okay? People are complain of always, have, people that always complain of not having good luck and all that. This perfume or this water is very good for you. This is water, because you're going to be adding a little quantity to your bathing water morning and night, okay? And there are psalms to charge this water. Yes, Psalm 62 and Psalm 66, you're going to use it to charge the water before you use it. Okay, prayerfully say the uh, Psalms and watch how God is going to bless you with this water. Okay, this water, it has so many mixtures. Okay, this is my own personal business. I would have taught us how to do but this is my personal business. So I want to teach us another one that is equally powerful you can use for your business and for whatever you want to use it for. Okay, so let's get right into the video. So... You know, this life, many people complain of not being attracted to, to the ladies to their or to the opposite sex. Okay, you see a full fledged girl or lady, she finds it difficult to be in a relationship. Okay, and when you take check, maybe check the person, you know that the person is not having a spiritual husband or any kind of family cause that is rendering her from not you know being attracted to the person and to her opposite to the opposite sex. So, but some of them have this evil mask covering them from seeing a reasonable men. They only date uh, married men, old men, people that cannot even marry them. Okay? So, by the grace of God, this attraction perfume, okay, even if you don't want to buy my own, this one I'm going to teach on the channel is equally very effective. Okay? My own is water. Why this one is perfume? Okay? So, this attraction perfume is going to help you attract good men. You know, I always emphasize, state the kind of man you want. Tell God the kind of man you want. Don't just say man, go, you just can get something you don't like. No. Tell God I want a responsible man, a man that will love me, a man that will love our children, a man that is ready to father our children. Okay, the, some people are ready to give you a, to a pregnancy, but they're not ready to father those children. They're not ready to provide their needs. Okay, so when you're praying, be specific. Tell God that He wants a man that will stand by you, that will know that He's the head of the family by providing for the needs of the family. Okay, not just any man that will come and pregnant you and go away. You will suffer to raise that child, you come again and pregnant you. No, that is not a husband. You will die young if you marry that kind of a man. Okay, pray for a man that will take care of you, that will love you, love your children. Even if he doesn't have your work, he will be eager to do something to bring food to the table. Okay? He's eager to make to be at peace with you. He's not the punching people, he's not the ones that punch their wives and beat them up and down and disgrace them in the, on the road. That is not a husband, that is a tiger. And don't pray for such man. Okay? So another thing is men are equally uh, in this problem. You see a rich man. A well-doing man, but to find a life partner is a problem. You understand? We would only get people that is that just came to eat their money, that came to set them up. There was a story I read on Facebook the other day. The girlfriend arranged for the kidnap so people to kidnap the fiance so that they will collect money from him. So that is not the kind of woman you want to live with. Don't pray for such woman that would set you up to collect your money, your hard-earned money. 
Okay? So when you're praying for a life partner, be specific. Tell God because God is not deaf. He listens to our prayers. He listens to what you, your intentions are and he grants it to you. Okay? I am a living witness. So you tell God whatever you want. He's going to give it to you. Okay? So another thing, if you're a business person, this oil is equally very good for you. Yes, it's very good because it's going to attract more customers. It's going to attract good people that you can do business with. Not people that you arrange a business deal, they will eat your money and tell that the business clashed. No. I've heard stories of people gathering money to buy a container or order a container. The other people will go and clear the container or start telling stories that the container sank in the high sea. That is fraud. That is wickedness. Don't pray for such business partners. So when you sign a business deal for them, when the deal is matured, they will kill you so that you will not benefit from it. Okay? So when you're praying for business attraction, business expansion, be specific. Tell God to give you good business partners. Tell God to bring you customers that will not give you headache. You may have some customers that will buy your goods on credit. Before you collect your money, you will use times two of that money that owe you to make police case before you can be able to retrieve your money from them. So we even come and poison you so that you will die. They will, they will take the whole money. Okay? So when you're praying for anything you're praying for, please be specific. Okay? So we'll be praying for customers to come to their shop to patronize it. They will come and dupe you. They will come and steal the ones you have. Uh, you've got it from other people. There are some customers that come to your shop. They are only there to shop uh, shoplift. Okay? So don't pray for such customers. So we pray for, you know, uh, customers to consider they will employ more sales girls. When you employ sales girls, they will come and carry your money and run away. So be specific when you're asking God for any help. When you're praying for God for anything, be specific about it. Okay? You will be praying for your business to expand and you get married to a thief that will carry your heart and money and take off. Okay? So whenever you're marrying or you're using this attraction perfume, whether you're saying for uh, business or for marriage, please be specific. You may be praying for the fruit on the wound. I want to use this thing to attract good things to your life, attract children. I will not be specific for the kind of children you want because you're desperate to have a child. God will give you a child that every day you're in the hospital. Please be specific. Tell God that you want a children that will bless, there will be a blessing to you, not a cost to you. Children that will be intelligent, that will have the fear of God. Okay? Not the ones that, as small as they are, they will start doing things that a 20-year-old child cannot do. Okay? So let me tell us how you can prepare this perfume. I have a lot to, if I keep talking, I can talk for one hour. Okay? So let me, I don't want this video to be too long, okay? So before you make this your business or love attraction perfume, the first ingredient is our divine grace. Yes, I've made several videos with this divine grace perfume. Okay? Another thing you'll be needing is your honey, original honey. Yes, this is honey. Please don't forget that I sell original honey, undiluted. Okay, this is the one I've been using for my spiritual works. Okay, another thing you'll be needing is sugar. Sorry, I don't eat sugar. That's why I did remember to get sugar. A cube of sugar. Please don't, do not use granulated sugar. Do not use brown sugar. I know some people will come to the comment section or to my WhatsApp to ask me, can I use brown sugar? Can I use granulated sugar? No. Granulated sugar, the powdered one, you are not going to use it. You are going to use a cube. Just one cube. No matter the quantity you are making, a cube is okay. If that one cube is enough, just to symbolize that sweetness in the mixture. Okay? So you are using your divine grace, your honey, and a cube of sugar. Okay? You can see that I have divided this one. If you are using the small bottle, okay, that's fine. If you are using this big bottle, it's fine. What you would do... Just uh, get a regular container, this bottle water container, the big one. Okay? You turn your divine grace into it. Okay? Then you put uh, maybe one spoon of honey, two spoon of honey, three spoon of honey. Then any quantity you want to put is okay. Okay? You shake it very well because you know this original honey takes time to dissolve. You shake it very well. Then you look for something to pound that sugar. It be um, a bottle, put it in a paper, use the bottle to roll it. It's going to uh, grind it. Then you pour it into that your uh, mixture of divine grace and honey. Then you prayerfully pray on it. Okay? 
you can use Psalm 62 to bless it. Okay? Pray on it. Tell God what you want to use it for. If you're using it to get a life partner, fine. For business, whatever you're using it for, is an attraction. You tell God that as ants and honey, uh, as sugar and, and honey attract ants and bee, that you want good things to be attracted to you. Or you want to be attracted to good things. Okay? Because you know that when bee sees honey, it must patch, patch on it. The same thing is applicable to sugar and ants. So if you mix these two together, tell God they want good, they want to be attracted to good things. So the same way honey, uh, bee and ants get attracted to uh, sugar and honey. Okay? That you want to use this perfume to bring good things to your life. I want to smell good physically and spiritually. Okay? How you are going to use it? Every morning, you are going to add a little to your bathing water. Okay? Then you bath with your soap. If you are using a favor soap, that is perfect. If you are using a favor oil, uh, you know my own favor soap comes is 3 in 1 favor attraction and breakthrough. Okay? If you can make your own, fine. There's, I have, I think, 2 or 3 favor soap I made on the channel. You can do any of them that you can assess the materials. They are all perfectly effective. Okay? So if you have any of them, use it. If you don't have, use your regular soap. It's still okay. You can still rub a little in your body. Then if you have a shop, what you will do, if you're cleaning the shop, just take a little, put in the mopping water and mop your shop. When you go to the shop, sprinkle in your shop or your goods. Then you pray on it. That God should attract good customers for you to you. You know, pray the kind of prayer you want, depending on what you're using it for. If you're using it for your uh, life partner, pray that God that you want to be attracted to good people, good men or a good uh, man or a good woman. Okay? Say your prayer the way it is in your mind. I know they want to say your prayers, you know what you're using it for. Say it prayerfully and watch how God is going to do it for you. Okay? I've come to the end of today's video. Please do not forget to subscribe. If you've not subscribed, like my video, share my videos. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.